Today we're going to work with multiple tracks. We're going to start by creating a picture-in-picture -picture effect as you can see here. Drag a chapter from the toolbox into the timeline. And then drag a background into the chapter. Under the background, drag two photos. If you organize them one on top of the other, then they'll play at the same time. Now I'm going to add Motion. For detailed instructions on how to do this, you can look through our handbook or check out our video on adding Motion. And I like to frame my photos, so I'm going to add a frame. Let's start a preview and see how this looks. You can also use multiple tracks for sound. Again, we drag a chapter into the timeline. And the photos that you want to correspond to the music. I'm in a little bit of a Christmas mood. I'm going to pick a few Christmas themed photos. Then you drag a sound object into the timeline. Here we've got Christmas music. Now we're just going to move the markers so that the music lines up and one song fades into the other. And the last thing that we're going to use chapters for is to use multiple tracks with videos. So we add a video to clip in there, a couple on the beach, and we're going to add a second video clip in there so that we can show how there's two videos running at the same time. And I'm going to line these up. And then I'm going to add a background, because I like my videos to play out a background. Then I'm just going to adjust the size of the videos so that they can both play on the background together. Let's preview what we made. And that's how you work with multiple tracks in Slideshow 9.